Hello and welcome to a special news update episode of Fully Charged. Now this is all about a very new car company called Faraday Future. Some of you will undoubtedly be aware that there's been a lot of hype around this company. It's been funded by the CEO of Le Echo in China, Jai Yuting. Le Echo started as a streaming video company in China, expanded into mobile phones, televisions, headphones and eventually smart bicycles on its privately owned marketplace La Mal. Well, they made a load of dosh, they borrowed billions more, saw what Tesla were doing in California and thought, we'll have some of that. So they launched a car company, hired 1,000 engineers as you do, started to build a massive factory just outside Las Vegas as you do, then stopped building it, almost went broke, everything went wrong, but very recently at CES, the Consumer Electronics Show, held each year in Las Vegas at the MGM Resorts Convention Center that's powered by 28 acres of solar panels on the roof, they finally revealed the FF91. At a glance, this car has very impressive specs. Fitted with a 130 kilowatt hour battery, which can be charged at 200 kilowatts, which means it can charge at 500 miles added range per hour, it has an EPA range of 378 miles, which means in real world conditions around 300. It has 1,050 horsepower, which means, yes, of course, the all-important 0 to 60 miles an hour, the FF91 can achieve that in a mere 2.39 seconds. That is unpleasantly fast. The FF91 is festooned with cameras, sensors, retractable LiDAR systems, facial recognition for keyless entry, the list goes on and on. It's semi-autonomous and can park itself. Boom! The future, just like that, it's happened. Self-parking cars, boom. Okay, so I saw VW do that a couple of years ago, and BMW, and Bosch of systems that can do that, and Tesla have been doing it for a while. But boom, self-parking, yeah. Well, that was what they said at the launch event, but it was a little embarrassing for Faraday Futures. In front of a huge crowd of journalists at the CES launch event, Nick Sampson, Vice President of Engineering, asked their CEO to press the driverless valet button and the car would go off and park itself. So the CEO pressed the button and nothing happened. To be fair to Faraday Futures, the system had worked in a car park outside the auditorium earlier in the day, but this was a very public tragic moment. I mean, it's a minor glitch, it's teething problems, they'll sort it out, but of course it was this humiliating fail that made all the headlines. Classic. How much does this car cost? No one knows. I'd suggest high five figures, low six. It will be available in 2018, but they're taking orders now. A mere $5,000 deposit will get your name on the list, but not if you're in the UK. At the moment, it's only North America and China that are getting the FF91. I think it's brilliant that they're doing it. I hope they do build these cars. I hope people do buy them. They're going to be very expensive. They will, if they arrive, be cooler than the Tesla, faster, go further on one charge and have even more gizmos. They raise the stakes and the stakes really need raising. Anyway, that's all for now. The usual end of episode stuff, Patreon, subscribe and if you have been, as always, thank you for watching.